setting up push notifications on your Durrani CCTV system. First thing you want to do is open up the Durrani IP Viewer app on your mobile phone. So once open, you just need to select the three lines up the top left hand corner to bring up the menu. From here, you want to select alarm notifications. What we want to do is allow notifications down the bottom of the screen, so just tap that there. And that will bring up a list of the devices that you have. What we want to do is select the device that we want notifications for, just by turning on the switch here. Then we can go down to advanced settings down the bottom to select how we want those notifications to come through on our phone. So from here we select the device that we've turned on, so it was reception. So once in this device, we can choose what channel that we want to get notifications for. So we can unselect all of them and select one or two or as many, as many cameras as you'd like to get notifications for. So we'll just turn one on for the Starlight camera we have out the front. From here, we can choose what time we want to get notifications for. So we can it's preset as around the clock, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We can choose to change that time if we want to get notifications only at night or during the day just by selecting the start and the end times here. Furthermore, we can select the type of notifications we want to get. We have motion detection every time the camera picks up any movement or send a notification. The video analytics, that's like uh, line detections, line crossings, face detections, things like that there which are on all of our cameras in our range. Alarm inputs, um, some cameras and some MBRs do have alarm inputs. The video loss, if the camera goes offline, it will send you a notification. Others are like IP conflict and things like that there. So we can choose what notifications we want to get just by moving these tabs left or right. So these are all on at the moment. We can choose to turn these off as we need. So alarm inputs, video loss, others will turn off. We'll just leave the VCAs and the motion detection on. Hitting save up the top will save those settings. We can operate and succeed. The system will now send you push notifications onto your phone. So from here we can see that we have notifications already coming up on the screen. Here we can choose to see a snapshot of the, uh, the, the notice or the notification or a video here. So we can select that video and it will bring up the actual time that this event happened here. So that will go back into playback of that camera. Uh, we can change the quality of the resolution that's brought up here in low quality. We can change that to high if we like just to get a better picture. And there it is there. So that's playing back the time that that notification came through. So we'll just go back out of here. So from the home screen, even when the app is closed in the background, we'll start getting notifications. They can take a little while to come through because it does connect to the cloud and send them back down to your phone. So be patient with that process. Can take 10-15 you know, minutes for those to actually load, but normally pretty, pretty quick. So what we'll see here when there's motion out the front, we'll see a notification come up on our screen here. CC11 so just popped up there. So here come all the notifications. We can just tap on one of those. And that will just automatically open the app and take us to the notification center. So from here, we'll see that these notifications are starting to come through. Again, we can just select what we want to look at, picture or a video. So we've selected this one here at the 926, and that will take us again directly to the time of that notification. And there it is. And that there is a setting up of alarm notifications on a Durrani CCTV system. What we also need to do is make sure that notifications are allowed in the notification center of your mobile phone. So just need to go into the settings of your actual phone and find the Durrani IP Viewer app there. So just need to just select that and make sure that notifications here are actually turned on. Make sure notifications are on. And then just back. In the actual settings of your phone as well, when we scroll up, we'll also have the 
the notifications here as well. Just need to make sure that they are also turned on always, um, or if you only want them when the phone is open, you can select that as well. And Durrani IP Viewer is also available here. Oops. Where we can also turn the notifications on. So just make sure those are all set up there, just to make sure notifications are allowed to come through on your mobile device.